Leslie Chong this morning from Imugene. Leslie, morning. Good morning. Look, another big bit of news from you this morning, this concerning PD-1 Vax and a phase two trial in bowel cancer set to open in the UK and Australia next year. Uh, just tell us a bit more. Yes, so I'm quite excited to announce that PD-1 Vax, this is the first phase two study for our product that can, can do, it's the PD-1 Vax, and it's in earlier lines of disease. So let me explain that a little bit. So this is even before before a patient has had surgery with their colorectal cancer. So we're moved it right along and this is where I think a vaccine would be quite um, important. So even before they get the resection or the surgery to remove the, the colorectal cancers, we dose with PD-1 vax, we get to have a bolus of data around how our PD-1 vax is working, and then you can get earlier readouts that way as well. And tell us a bit more about the setting where, the, where this trial will take place. So it's approximately 10 sites, and this is uh, six in Australia and then four in the UK. And we've actually been approached by um, two distinctive groups here. So the Australia Asia Gastrointestinal Trials Group, which is led by Professor Tim Price, and then the Cancer Research UK in Southampton with Dr. Tony Dillon. So it's an honor and a pleasure to have these well, uh, just, you know, industry giants to come in and ask for the PD-1 vax. And the fact that we have only, you know, we're, gonna, we're only gonna spend, um, a partial amount on the study because they're funding the rest. And so with minimal spin, we get major uh, benefits, not only in data collection earlier on, but also to patients. Any suggestion, Leslie, as to when this trial might get underway? Well, it will get underway as soon as 2024. So earlier on in 2024, we hope to announce on first patient in, first uh, site up and running. Um, you know, I might mention that clinical development and the path to uh, drug development is a convoluted and a complex process. But my team is uh, doing all the right things by our products, by placing it in an indication where we have seen major activity with an anti-PD-1 already. So we think that this is going to be a really wonderful uh, case for PD-1 vax. And then um, so positive, uh, positive data um, earlier in a hugely unmet need. So it's fast to market strategy again, uh, it's in right in line with our um, with our crucial uh, need for data collection early and as well as a registrational strategy. Right, Leslie, so we've got that trial to look forward to next year. Uh, what else have we got in terms of upcoming activity? So uh, throughout the next short months, um, you'll see my presentation at J.P. Morgan. So I had the distinct honor to be invited again um, to J.P. Morgan. This is a it's, this this is the biggest biotech and pharma investor conference um, in the world, uh, and it's held in San Francisco in early January. My clinical team is also um, will be at. ASH, which is a conference specifically in blood cancers, where we get to introduce Azer cell across many of the pharmaceutical companies. And then, of course, you'll see progress across all our programs and hopefully some early data readouts. Good to speak, Leslie. Thanks very much. Thank you, Andrew.